In this video, we're going to look at how to create adaptive cards for Microsoft Teams. So here we are in Power Automate, and I'm going to create a new floor. So it's going to be a instant cloud floor. So I'm going to call this Microsoft Teams and manually trigger a floor. So click Create. And then the next step is going to be a Microsoft Teams based step. And so that step is going to be host an adaptive card to a Microsoft Teams channel and wait for a response. So you can see there's lots of different variants of that, but I'm going to use this one right at the bottom. So let's click on that, sign in to create a connection to Microsoft Teams. It should be signing in right now. So I'll select the team ID and select the channel. And then we've got the message. Now the message needs to be in JSON format, J-S-O-N. So what we're going to do is go to a completely different website. It's going to be called adaptive cards forward slash I-O. And what this Microsoft website does is allow us to design a card. So you can see we've got a card here, for example. So I'm going to click on a new card up here and we've got all of these different templates. So I'm going to scroll down and use tell us about yourself, an input form. And you can see we've got various elements that we can drag in. We can drag in text blocks and images and media and so forth. And there's a preview mode so you can see what sort of information we're trying to get. So now we've got all of this, we can copy it into Power Automate. Now, if we're going to use it with Microsoft Teams, it doesn't use target version 1.3. We have to change this to 1.2. That's quite important. You will find that it has problems with version 1.3. Now we can click on copy card payload, which generates the JSON. And now we can paste it into our Power Automate flow. So there we go. And now I can paste that into the message. So a really long message, that's why you should design it elsewhere. And then what we can do is get a mail step, send an email notification. So again, I'm just going to send it to myself. Results of adaptive card being the subject. Now there's a few things that you can get in response, but none of those are actually the things that I'd asked for. So I'm just going to click a few things and then save it and go for a test and see if they appear. And test it. So you can see it uses these following apps. That's fine. Run the floor. Successfully started. So the test is running. So now let's go into Max. So in Microsoft Teams in the channel, this is what I get. Now this only happens if you're using version 1.2. If you're using version 1.3, you'll more likely get, we're sorry, this card can't be displayed. So I'm going to type in my information. And my phone number. And click submit. So there we are, it's submitted. Let's go back to Microsoft Automate. And as you can see, the test was successful using version 1.2. So my flow ran successfully. Now let's go back in and edit it. And edit the send an email notification. And you can see that now we've got a few additional things. So my name, my email, and my tell have appeared. So let's save this again. And we'll test it again. And now let's go back to Microsoft Teams. So here is my latest one. So I'm going to say, hi there. This is me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. And submit that. Now we go back to Power Automate. And you can see that it has now got the details that I was requesting. And here you can see my email with the same details as well. So in this video, we've had a look at how to create an adaptive card for Microsoft Teams 
using Power Automate. You post an adaptive card to a Teams channel or similar, and then you can send an email notification or similar, or maybe load the data into a database when you received that data. And to help you design it, you can use adaptivecards.io forward slash designer. Just make sure to use target version 1.2. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, then why not like it? Or why not subscribe and click that bell so you'll be notified of any new videos. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.